Ready, Set, Do is a simple file-based approach to getting things done on your Mac. It's based on David Allen's Getting Things Done principles. And today I'd like to show you what Ready, Set, Do is and what it can do for you. When Ready, Set, Do first installs, it provides a number of icons over to the right side of your screen. Each one of these is an alias file that links to a new folder in your home directory called the RSD Active System. Each one of these folders serves to define a particular range of items that you'll need to process and work on. Your inbox is where you place anything that is not defined. Documents, files, emails, etc. Anything that you have on your computer that you have no clue what it is or why it's there can begin here and Ready, Set, Do will walk you through the process for defining these things and putting them in a place in your system that you can trust to review later. The next icon here is a link to your calendar application. By default, this is an alias that links to your iCal application, but you can choose another application if you use another application besides iCal. By using Command I or File Get Info and selecting a new link to your particular application of choice, and Ready, Set, Do will interact with it. The actionable folder is where single tasks go, things you need to do based on location context, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Projects are where things that need more planning go. Anything that is consists of more than one action to complete, uh, things that need larger horizon planning, go to your projects first, and Ready, Set, Do walks you through the process for getting clear on all of your projects. Your waiting for folder consists of anything that is pending that you're waiting to hear back on, or things that you need to keep until a particular date. Your read review folder consists of any material you need to read or review. Any type of document or file can be placed in here, PDF files, podcasts, things you need to listen to, and Ready, Set, Do will help define and process your reading for you. The Tickler folder is a place that's used to postpone or push things off until a future date. You can do this in a number of ways. Most of the time, Ready, Set, Do does it automatically. But opening the folder here, you'll notice that there are folders for each of the months and also a Sunday Maybe folder. Inside each of the month folders are folders for that correspond to the particular day for the month. And you can simply drag and drop items in here, or Ready, Set, Do will help you uh, kick things to these folders at various times of using the scripts. Bottom line, the tickler is used for postponing items. The reference link here links to a new folder created in your home directory called Reference. Uh, I like to have a separate folder in my home directory where I keep all of my non-actionable reference material. Uh, OS 10 and other applications that are created in OS 10 tend to use the Documents folder to automatically update things and whatnot. I like to have a separate folder that other programs don't know about and therefore they don't interact with and my things are kept safe in there. There are two other folders here, the Send a PDA folder and the Send a Paper folder. Neither of these really do anything in Ready, Set, Do at this point. If you have any ideas for these, you're welcome to let me know. But it seemed consistent to uh, include folders that people can use as reminders of things they need to push out to either their handheld device or to print out to paper. Ready, Set, Do also installs a quick start guide, and I'd recommend anyone that's getting started with Ready, Set, Do go ahead and start with that. This is the fastest way to get up to speed, and it's really a tutorial that walks you step by step how to use each of the scripts. It's simply a quick time file that you can use the arrow keys to navigate through. So let's get started with some of the scripts. Ready, Set, Do puts a little icon in your dock, and when you click on it, you have a number of options to choose from. We'll go ahead and start with the top and work our way down. 